What would you do if you had $10,000 cash right now? It's DK and I'm back with another video. Make sure you put me on your big screen Vizio. And if you in your whip right now, make sure you turn up the stereo. Today we about to go out here and get busy. Now I'm glad you guys are with me. But before we get into that, make sure you guys go ahead and smash the subscribe button if you are not subscribed. And also go ahead and give me a like so I can get my pockets tight. Now, we do have our first order. It's time for us to go get an order. We are putting up to Home Depot so we can stack these chips like Pringles. The app we're gonna use is Rody 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 with a Dabber Ranch. We are picking up a door, some spray foam, some shims. We're gonna drive six miles for 4674. Y'all know I love running up this dough. Let's go. And just like that, we are here at Home Depot ski so we can get this dough, G. <coughs> I know you about to scope, see? You about to scope ski, baby. Good morning. How you doing? I'm here to bother you as always. How was your weekend? It was great. How was yours? It was great. I was just chill. I was just relaxed. I ain't had no order, so I couldn't do nothing. Um, WJ511-281-85. Mm -hmm. You did that fast. Thank you. <laughs> you need me to sign or are you okay? No, you're good. Okay, thank you. You guys have a great one. Y'all see what's going on, baby. Y'all see what's going on. Wah! Something like it's hot. Now after you drive it up and stop. What, 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 what? Drive it like it's hot. Then jump right there. Bingo! Then jump right there. Oh, we got that joint locked in. Right, please, right, please. We gonna put this in this basket. And just like that, we gone. It's time for us to pull up and get in our zone. Let's go. And just like that, we are here at the drop-off location. I want to put this by the garage because I don't have any room to put it by the front door. So I'm leaving by the garage and we gonna slide. Um, I gotta go over here because I can't put it by that light either. So we're gonna put this right on here. Right there, baby. Get this right here. Bop, bop. Step back, come up the photo. You already know though. Smack. We gone. Guess what, baby? We finally got us a load. It's time for us to pull up and get our pockets on swole. Last week, guess how many loads we got? Since this is the zero, I put in probably 100 bids and I got no loads. Like, they ain't give us, give us nothing, baby. I don't know what's going on with the market. Everything is slow right now. We ain't been getting no dough. And it is what it is. We ain't complaining. We maintain it. We gonna keep on doing our thing and getting this change. We're about to drive 21 deadhead miles 56 miles loaded, so 77 miles all together for 150. RIP Nipsey, let's go. Just like that, we are here at the pickup location. <laughs> Hopefully we get this order and keep on skating and being great. Let's go. Oh. Go around, wait for someone to help you. Good morning, how you doing, sir? Good, how are you? Um, I have a load to go to Provisor in Mokina. Oh, that's not good. It's not. That's the guy. Oh, he's still not done yet? I'm not sure. I'm from across the street. Oh, how you doing, boss? Um, I have a load to go to Provisor in uh, Mokina. Pick, okay, you're picking that up? Yes, sir. Uh, right. Thank you very much. I appreciate you, sir. You have a good one. Did you pay for work? Uh, one skid right here. What do you have, a van or yeah, something? Yeah, I'm right here in front of this door. Y'all already know what time it is. My guy about to pull up so we can get loaded up, so we can uh, run it up. Thank you very much, sir. You have a great day. Uh. And just like that, it's game time. It's time for us to pull up and shine because we always on the grind. Let's go.
and we are here at the drop off. Time to knock their socks off. Oh, they got somebody right here so we can get busy. Oh yeah, it's a small little place too. That's what I'm talking about. Get us in and out like a bank robbery. That wind was blowing so hard on our way here. I'm talking about blowing. Shoo, woo. How you doing, boss? I'm gonna have a. Oh, almost fell. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I got a little job off to you guys from Zion. Okay, go. It's slipping off. I can push it. You need me to push it? Yeah, I can push it. It's only like 200 pounds. Yes, sir. Appreciate you, boss. You have a good one. Yes, sir. Let's go ahead and get into it. So I got this 10,000, this 10,000, baby. This 10K, this 10 bands, these 10 stacks, these 10 Gs, 10 grand, 10 bucks, whatever you want to call it, 10 thou wow, whatever you want to call it. I got this $10,000. The question is, what am I going to do with this 10,000? Now, me personally, what I would do with $10,000 is invest in crypto. That's what I would do right now. That's just me. Everybody else can do it how they're going to do it. Now, if you are thinking about getting a cargo van or a box truck or whatever you may be thinking about doing, me personally, I would rather go with investing in crypto because this is the reason why. The van, yes, is going to make you some money. The box truck, yes, is going to make some money. But you're going to have to work way harder to make the money. I can take the money and invest it and then that is going to grow over time and then I can buy the box truck or the cargo van later, like next year. Because we're in a bull run right now. So you could buy this van or box truck or whatever you want to do. You can start this business next year. And you're going to have way more money because you're going to invest it in the cryptos right now. So that's what I would do if I had $10,000. I understand that we're, I'm not, a, uh, I'm not a financial advisor again. I'm not a financial advisor, but that's personally what I would do because I feel like I would get a way better bang for my buck if I invested in crypto because with 10,000, if you do everything right, you can make 100,000, you can make, it just depends on what you do, what moves you make. So I do want to say, um, if you don't know anything about crypto, you need to do your own research and also they have some channels on YouTube, but you want to be very careful on the people that you may choose to follow with the crypto because some people be finessing. So you got to make sure that you do your due diligence on these people and go with the right person if you don't know anything about crypto. Like I told you guys before, the person I go to is Mark the Mentor. He's, he's mentoring me right now. Everybody needs a mentor. He's mentoring me right now and I'm following everything he do. I always tell you guys this, all I do is follow the money. I go over where the money go. He's done this bull run. He's went through this multiple times. This is my first time ever going through a bull run, so I don't know what to do. I don't know what to expect. So I'm going to invest in learning more through crypto, through Mark. That's what I'm doing. You can do how you want to do it. You can find your own person. You can do your own research. You can do all that stuff. But that's what I would do if I had $10,000 right now. now. Now, I do want to say this. That's me just having, just saved up $10,000 or I got my tax refund or something like that. I definitely have always told you guys to invest your money because that's the only way you're going to build this generational wealth that you want to do. It ain't going to be through this van, the one van, the one box truck. It ain't going to happen like that. I'm just tell, I'm telling you guys the truth. Invest the money. That's what I would do. Now, this also goes to you who may be getting a, a tax refund back. You need to stop. You keep on doing the same thing every year. You end up broke again. Stop doing that. It does not work. You know what they say the definition of insanity is? Doing the same thing over and over and over and expecting a different result. It's not going to change. You don't, need, you don't need to buy no furniture every year. You don't need to buy no the kids' jewelry every year. You don't need to, every year you want to get a new car. Every year you want to go to Red Lobster and, and Applebee's and you want to go to all these lavish places that all your friends want to go to. You have to you have to practice delayed gratification. Right now is not the time for that. Now, if you're not going to invest, you're like, I don't want to invest. I don't feel safe doing that. At least pay the rent or mortgage up. At least do something. Do something like that. Do not continue to do the same thing over and over and over and expect a different result. It's not going to happen. So, if you're not going to invest, I would say pay the rent or mortgage, have the money saved up, and do something with it. Don't keep doing the same thing over and over. That's what I'm doing with the 10000 Now, that's my answer. What is your answer? Comment below and let me know. Comment below and let me know what you would do with that 10 thou wow. That 10000 that 10 bands, that 10 bucks, the 10 stacks, whatever you want to call it. Comment below and let me know. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, if you're not subscribed, make sure to smash subscribe and also give me a thumbs up. And if, you are, and if you're a part of the crew, you already know what to do. Don't up! Don't seize up if you're a part of the crew. You already know what to do. Y'all know my flow stick like the flu. I'll see you guys on the next one. We're going, we're going, we're flowing. You already know it. It's DDK, and I'm on my way.